We get asked all the time, who's buying farmland? We're a real estate brokerage firm in Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Missouri, Colorado, and we specialize in farmland sales at High Point Land Company. And we get asked all the time at auction events, after a real estate closing with the attorneys or the financial advisors, the accountants involved, who is buying farmland? Uh, you know, what, was, what were these folks' intention and why are they buying? So we thought it'd be a good video topic for folks, whether you're thinking about selling a farm, whether you're thinking about getting into buying farmland as an investment. Um, disclosure, this is in no way financial advice. I'm a real estate broker in five states. High Point Land Company sells about 300 farms a year for families and uh, people looking to sell farmland and hunting land and rural recreational property of, of all kinds. Who buys farmland in today's world? The farmland buyer in our experience in today's market uh, we went from having about a three percent interest rate to seven or eight percent interest rates uh, there's been a lot of changes in commodity prices and interest rates and different financing and uh, there's there's a little bit of a shift that's happened with who is buying farmland for example in that category so today we're seeing just under 50 percent of our buyers are farmers are people that are going to farm the land themselves they're people that trust land and agriculture they're going to plant corn or soybeans or wheat or rice or whatever the crop is in that area that's going to be best suited for that land so it's farmers that are looking to pick up more land so what happens when farmers want to be a buyer of farmland is many times they want to sell a farm that does not have uh, as much efficiency or quality in their operation. So sometimes when a farmer wants to buy, they will sell another property that is not as desirable or is not as uh, efficient in their operation for trucking and running equipment over to the farm or uh, dragging a manure line to the farm. So a lot of times farmers are sellers as well as they are buyers. The next category of folks that are interested in buying farmland today is an investor. And when people think of as an investor in buying farmland, they're thinking of folks that are, you know, big hedge funds or big huge uh, conglomerates that are buying farmland. And that does happen. But the reality is the majority of the people that are investing in farmland today are folks that are normal local or regional business people or maybe from another state, but they have some connection to the land that they originally grew up in that area or they originally grew up on a farm and now they want to invest in a farm instead of the stock market or they're going to do a 1031 exchange out of one asset type that has a lot of management like an apartment complex or a rental property or uh, maybe a farm gets taken by a, uh, a wetland project or a road project but they want to be in farmland for one reason or another but they are not the operator that's the next lineup of buyer is the investor that wants to 1031 or 1033 into a piece uh, into a piece of farmland as an investment. They want to have a tenant run the farm, do the planting, do the harvesting, do the trucking, and be the farmer for that property. And then they want to rent it out as an investment to that party so they can uh, get a rent check either once or twice a year. We also manage a lot of farms at High Point Land Company for that type of investor client. And those folks are the other 56% uh, of the buyer category uh, of who's buying farmland today. We have many other folks uh, that uh, are the one-off, people that are looking for a cash investment in farmland, a beginning farmer uh, that is going to run the land. Um, there's some different folks that, uh, that are currently buying farmland, but the bulk, the majority of that, uh, just outside of 50-50, a little bit lower on the farmer today because of commodity prices and interest rates, a little bit higher on the investor buyer uh, today because of uh, inflated real estate values and other categories. But in today's world, 2024, we're seeing uh, just a little bit of a split right above or below 50-50.